Gordon Keith here with another awkward television interview, this time with the stars of Nick and Nora's Infinite Playlist, the lovely Kat Dennings, and of course Michael Sarah here. Welcome, guys. Hey, Gordon. Thanks. <laughs> Good. Uh, you guys look wonderful and you look refreshed and everything. I'm worried. <laughs> Thank you. I'm worried that I don't look quite as <laughs> quite as good. Really? I had yeah. kind of an Amy Winehouse kind of night, so really? I don't want to talk about it. Okay, okay, let's talk about the film. Start off. Why should every human soul see this movie at least once or twice? Michael, you want to take that one? I think uh, it's a great movie. I think Pete's a great director and um, did a great job with it. <laughs> I concur. If yeah. you value the emotion happiness, I'd which I do. Do you? I, yeah, That's I good. do. Along with envy and sloth. Mm -hmm. Those but are those are my top values. three. I like sloppiness. If you like any of those things, <laughs> see the movie. Now, Kat, I have to, I, I'm a bit taken aback being in the same room with you because I'm obsessed with you. Oh, I just good. wanted to throw that out there to stymie the flow of I'm conversation and make things awkward. Hair. Yeah, it's a bad hair piece. Why are you obsessed with me? It's have a you never seen piece. any other woman alive? <laughs> now, what about yeah. you, Kat? What was the strangest thing that happened during the making of this film? You telling me you're obsessed with me. <laughs> you know, I, I take that back. You know, I probably should have waited towards the end of the interview to throw no, that in there. No, you have to tell me what, what happened. Well, I want you to know what's up. I want you to know the score. Good. The 411. I feel That's me trying to, to be now. hip. You do? Yeah. Okay. We're on the same wavelength. Now, you, you blog a lot. I do blog, blog a lot. I blog you ever, often. You ever thought about writing a book or anything like yeah. that? Any? A book? A book, is that the combination of a blog and book? I don't know, well, is there such a thing? I get a lot Sounds of... like a Seuss character. Uh, that wouldn't surprise me. I get a lot of requests, weirdly, um, from people who want me to put my ent my posts into a book. I could do that and just give all the money to some... Worthy to the cause. internet. Like to me. the internet. But so, th that's the thing, though. I mean, like my diary that I discovered when I was a... A young girl keeping a diary. <laughs> thing, uh, but it's embarrassing. So, but you have all that stuff out there. Do you think you'll ever look back at that and go, "Man, I wish I hadn't have shared"? No, hmm. uh, I mean, earlier posts are all about nail polish and boys and clothes. Same here. I mean, <laughs> same here. Uh, you're a musician, Michael. You play in this film. How much? Uh, how much do you play in in real life in your band? I, I don't have a band. I just play a little bit of music. You know, just I have a piano and play guitar sometimes. And, yeah. Okay, so you guys got to be in Electric Ladyland. So yeah, it was that was very that cool. Was real yep. Electric Ladyland. Yeah, and uh, Jimi Hendrix's piano was there. And his shirt. Yeah. Oh, that wasn't real. What? No, that was his a prop. Oh, what? Wow. Yeah. But I stroked it. I know, I know, because there was I no. I stroked it, and I thought someone. The fact DNA that we could touch it, the one. fact that we were allowed to touch it, made me question it, and the prop guy told me oh. it's not real. <laughs> I was like, why are we allowed to touch it? I was like, you stroked faux memorabilia. Yeah, I can't you knew. Been that was like so, that was unlike like a lot of women in the, in the '60s, you were not exposed to Hendrix's DNA. I Arts. touched the guitar. I mean, I touched the piano and stuff. I touched yeah, everything. the piano was was his. Yeah, I think that might have been the only real thing. I was going to lick it, but I thought I might get hepatitis. Yeah, or something. That's hard to get rid of. Yeah, believe me. Yeah, <laughs> hard to kick. Anyway, Nick and Nora's Infinite Playlist. It starts tomorrow, as a matter of fact. So go see it. No. Cat Dennings. This is filmed out of sequence. Okay. <laughs> Let's play along. It's the magic of television. <laughs> <That's my favorite. laughs> tomorrow, Cat Dennings. Wait, tomorrow's October 3rd, right? Yeah, tomorrow's oh, cool, October yeah. 3rd. That's right. Great, Very good. Cool. It's Friday, October 3rd. Uh, Cat Dennings and, of course, Michael Sarah, no Nick and Nora's Infinite Playlist. Go see it. Thank you, Gordon. You know, Thank you, you say it was going to be awkward, but that wasn't that awkward.